Okay, the first thing about uh, cleaning and, the, and operation of your fusion splicer, and this is true with all of them, is not to use compressed air. Uh, we're going to use 99% isopropyl alcohol and some brushes to be able to, to get any specks and, and clean the debris away. The first place that I want to get into is the holders next to the uh, electrodes there. You want to be able to brush those. It's best to, to brush it away from the center. Down in the inside there is the mirrors where the cameras are located at. Uh, and you want to try to keep from brushing dirt down in inside of there. Uh, there is some different brushes that will come into your cleaning kit. Uh, the first one will start will be the softest one and they get a little bit more uh, uh, stiffer as you go up. But you can use the stiffer ones for the pads that will hold your fiber. You want to make sure that any brush, like brush away any dirt that might be uh, sitting on top of those, not only on the, the bottom down here, but also on the top, making sure that the pads up here are staying clean and, and free of dirt. Uh, if there's anything hard or stuck on, you can use your isopropyl alcohol, dip a little bit onto your Q-tip and use that to scrub and wipe away. Uh, last place will be the, the springs that actually hold the, the fiber next to uh, the arc. Make sure and brush those off using a good lint-free cotton swab. Okay, next we're going to move to the cleaver and doing about the same thing. We're going to be cleaning off all the pads and the grooves that fall in here, trying to get any dust and debris away. If there are any specks that you find in here is going to lead to a bad cleave, a bad cleave leads to a bad splice. But inside of here we're going to be real delicate. But we're brushing away the pads that hold the fiber on either side, on the top and the bottom. And then the groove that leads into it. And again, if there's anything that's stuck on there, we can move up to a stiffer brush to try and get that out of there. And if we need to, we can use the lint-free cotton swabs to help pick up some of that remaining dust and, and debris that might be inside of there. And next, to clean the, the blade itself, we'll use the 99% isopropyl alcohol. And you can use your cotton swab and swiping in an upward direction towards the point of the blade. And try not to uh, get the cotton swab directly on, on the sharp edge of the blade. But You'll start at the side and just sweep upwards around the blade to, to clean that. Okay, that completes this process.